Welcome to Microsoft Teams at Brunswick Secondary College. My name is Derek Glennie and I'm the Learning Technologies Coordinator of Brunswick Secondary College and I'm here to give you some information about how Microsoft Teams can enhance your students' learning. Microsoft Teams is an in-house and secure place to learn, communicate and collaborate. It's only available to people who have a Brunswick Secondary College login and as such only teachers and students can access the Microsoft Teams network. There are a number of ways that you can access Microsoft Teams, but if it's not installed on your device, then you'll need to go to www.office.com. When you log in with your Brunswick Secondary College email address and password, you'll notice that this gives you access to the entire Microsoft network. This includes Microsoft Teams, which is the icon with two purple people standing side by side. If you click this icon, this will give you access to the web version of Microsoft Teams. The web version of Teams is sufficient for most functions, but doesn't give you full access to the Microsoft Teams experience. In order to download the desktop application of Teams, you need to click on your initials in the top right hand corner of the screen and select to download the desktop app. Once you have logged onto Teams, you can access both the teams that you're a member of and the channels underneath those teams. Think of it like a folder with different sections. So here you can see that my 12 Psychology General team has an exam revision channel, a Unit 3 Area Study 1 channel, and so on. Each of those channels has both a conversations and a file section, plus whatever your teacher chooses to add. You might also note that the right-hand version is in a dark mode, and the left-hand version is in light mode. These options are available behind your initials in the top right-hand corner and in the settings section, as is the option to view your teams in tiles, as is on the left, or to view it as a list, as is on the right. When viewing a channel within Teams, you'll notice that you have tabs at the top of that channel. In this instance, we can see posts, files, and three other tabs that I've chosen to add myself. Posts is where your teacher will communicate with you. This is where you'll find your meetings and your communication. The file section is where your teacher might choose to share files with you or create collaborative documents for you to contribute to. Any other tab at the top of this channel will be something your teacher has chosen to add. In the case of the general channel in Teams, you'll also note that you have an assignment section as well as a notes section. The notes section will link to your class's OneNote if your teacher has set one up in advance. Throughout remote learning, you'll be following a normal class timetable, but rather going to a physical classroom, you'll be at home accessing a team. Staff will choose to communicate with you via a team and it might be in the form of a meeting or it could be in the form of a post. If a meeting has been made, you will have to choose to join that meeting. In each case, the meeting or the post will appear in a channel for that team. Sometimes your staff will mention you in a post, so please keep an eye on the activity section. You can find the activity section on the left hand side of your screen under the bell icon. This will tell you when you've been notified of anything specific that is happening within your classroom teams. Just like a physical classroom, there are expectations of your involvement in Microsoft Teams classes. We expect you to be at your workstation with your class team open, ready to participate at the start of each lesson. When entering a meeting, please choose to keep your microphone muted to avoid feedback. This option will be available to you when you click join. When contributing to a conversation in posts, please use the reply box rather than creating a new post. This will help to keep your post section clean. Have your camera turned on in meetings as this enhances the educational process for everyone. And please contribute to your classes in a safe, respectful and inclusive manner that would be expected of you in a normal classroom. Your classroom teacher is an expert in the use of Microsoft Teams, so please don't hesitate to ask them any questions you might have. You can do this during a class or via email which is available through Compass. You can even ask them directly through the post section of your team. If they can't answer your question directly, they can get back to you shortly with an answer. If you require IT support for login issues or hardware problems, please use the IT help page at the address linked here.